Hello friends, welcome to the cool Vedas, that's Vedas school. Today, let's listen to the story of Jarat Karu. The great ascetic Jarat Karu was meanwhile roaming around the world, following strict penance and making his home the place where night came for him. The Muni had air alone for food and was free from all worldly desires. One day, as he was strolling around, he saw a strange sight. He saw the spirit of few men who looked sagely, hanging upside down with a few weir on our roots holding their legs. And even in that, all the roots were broken, except one single root which again was being nibbled on by a huge rat. These spirits were facing a huge dark hole below them. Seeing this strange sight and overcome with compassion and pity towards those saintly people, Jarat Karu asked them, Who are you hanging by this Virana cord? The only cord which holds you is being eaten away by a huge rat. This cord will soon break and you will fall down into the dark pit. Please tell me, how can I help you? You can take one fourth or even half of my asceticism. Oh, please, save yourself even with the whole of my ascetic strength. I'll give you all my tapasika shakti. Do as you please and save yourself. Hearing this, the Pitris said, O oh, saintly Brahmachari, we are so thankful for your desire to help us. But your ascetic strength cannot help us, as we too are people with great tapasika shakti. We are rishis from the Yayavara race. The cords of Virana roots you see broken are ourselves who have been eaten up or got perished with time. The single Virana cord which is holding us represents the only sun in our lineage, whose time in this world is also reducing. The rat you see eating on the single cord is time. Time of infinite strength is gradually weakening Jarat Karu, the only son remaining in our race. Jarat Karu is always engaged in penances and has not set his heart on Grihastashram. His asceticism is not going to save us. Without having a son to continue this race, Jarat Karu too, soon with time, shall fall with us all to the deep dark pit. O oh, Brahmana, if you want to help us, please speak to Jaratkaru for our sake and tell him all that you saw. Please tell him to take a wife and beget children and save us all. O oh, you my child, who are you? We wish to know who you are, the one who is grieving for us like a dear friend. Jaratkaru Hearing all this was overcome with grief and with voice obstructed by tears he said, O oh, Pitris, you are my ancestors. I am that sinful son of yours, Jarat Karu. Punish me for my sinful deeds, he said. Pitris replied, O oh, son, it is my good luck that you reached here at the proper time. Tell us, why is that you did not take a wife? Jaratkaru answered that, Ye Pitras, I always had a desire in my heart that following strict Brahmacharya, I would take this body of mine to heaven. But now seeing you, my ancestors, in this state, I will do anything to save my race. I will certainly marry. If I meet a maiden who has the same name as mine, 
she should also be given to me as bhiksha and i should not have to maintain her i shall surely marry if i meet such a woman otherwise i shall not and the son i beget from such a maiden will give us salvation please be relieved from your fear the buddhi taking leave from his pitras then wandered over the earth in search of a wife big old he did not obtain any wife yet he continued searching for a maiden to be given to him as bhiksha unsuccessful after a very long search he grieved greatly going into a forest he wept loudly he said whatever creatures are here mobile immobile or invisible please hear my words directed by my ancestors i am roaming the world in poverty and sorrow searching for a maiden to be given to me as bhiksha please bestow on me a bride who has the same name as mine and one who I shall not have to maintain hearing these words from jaratkaru those snakes which were tracking jaratkaru soon gave vasuki the news and the king of snakes hearing their words soon took his sister dressed beautifully with ornaments and walked to the forest where jaratkaru was will jaratkaru accept vasuki's sister's hand in marriage what will be jaratkaru's demands to marry vasuki's sister let's find out please like share and subscribe our channel for more mahabharata stories do not forget to press the bell icon thank you namaste